What is going on everyone? Shion Subs on 5 here and I'm bringing you, well, the first episode in a very long series, which hopefully doesn't turn out to be way longer than some other ones. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're finally coming out with uh, Saints Row 4. It's been a long time coming and I know a few of you guys have been wanting to go and see this uh, series come out. And yeah, here we are. Now, a few things I just want to go and say before I start off on the uh, episode and start off on the series. Uh, I do have the version for PS4, which is the one I wanted to go and start off on, but this is the one for the PS3. The main reason I couldn't do it for PS4 was just because I was having some problems with uh, my PVR uh, currently, so I couldn't really do anything on the PS4. But luckily I still had my copy on the PS3. So I'm still going to be bringing out the content for you guys, it's just not going to be in the uh, better quality that I would have wanted to bring out for you guys. But yeah, without no further ado, we're going to go and start off on a new campaign, and um... Yeah, we're going to go and do that. We're just uh, going to start off on normal. Uh, I'm just going to do regular, you know, brightness stuff. And, um, yeah, let's just see how this ends up going for us. And if you guys hear me differently on the microphone, uh, I'm just trying to block out as much as I can on that static or fan noise you might be hearing. But, yeah, yeah. It is a truth universally acknowledged that every now and again a situation arises that defies explanation. And so it was with the ascension of the Third Street Saints. When the Saints made their presence known to the world in 2006, they were decried for being pretenders to the throne. The people were confused. Were the Saints sociopathic killing machines hell-bent on destruction? Or puckish rogues living a life of mirth and whimsy? The Saints needed clarity of purpose, and so the course was set. More fun, less mercy killing. This simple choice revitalized the Saints, transforming them from a degenerate street gang into beloved pop culture icons. But even then, the Saints were not satisfied. For it's one thing to be revered as a hero, it is another to be a hero. And that, my friends, is where our journey begins. We're three minutes behind schedule. We need to move. You're a real people person, aren't you? I'm sorry. Is this a counter-terrorist operation or a Saints flow shoot? I'm shy. I'll show to come. Follow me. We're here. them to be all business we know what's at stake do you look lady this motherfucker knows how to get shit done don't you worry about me what's security my tech guy bought us a 10 minute window if we move fast we'll only need to worry about the guards on foot how many of those are there don't know about the numbers inside but there are about eight marching the perimeter on my signal we oh hell
Too much for subtlety. Don't worry about it, honey. Subtlety is not really our thing. Come on, this way. Well, alrighty. I don't expect to get too much uh, commentary done in this one, so I'll let you guys enjoy their little dialogue scripts. Base, are you there? What are you walking into? The intelligence I'm looking at suggests. Hold on. Hi, drop on its way. Wait a minute. Your hammer is. Is that Mac Miller? Is he? This is the Lord of the Tower. A fighter mitigation of MI6, a key member of our operation. And in fact, they tried to kill him. Alright guys, um, I gotta pause it here real quick, gotta adjust my audio settings just to make sure everything sounds right, so I'll see you guys back in a little bit. Alright guys, apologies for that. Hold position. Let's take him out quietly. Well, there goes that guy. Hmm. So I guess we're up against Cyrus now, huh? Strange. Get my back. Didn't think he'd actually go up to there. You should be nearing the missile. Cyrus has soldiers everywhere, so be alert. Attention! Attention, please! Quiet, listen. Saints, glad you can make it! God, I hate this guy. Uh, don't take it personal. Why would you? I should have killed you in Steelboard! Or maybe take it personal. You ruined Steelboard! Ruined America! Monologuing. Our leaders failed America by letting you live! Time to destroy Washington and start over! Nothing can stop me now! Especially you! Uh huh. Well, I guess uh, Cyrus still harbors some bad blood against us. So, yeah, I mean, there's that. You now then. Don't sweat. I got this. Come here, bitch. This way, people. Ah, oh, well, it's about time Pierce you takes you know charge. Bump? You call that a bump? You're alive, aren't you? All right. Well, let's go and do this. Let's do that, and let's take out this last guy. Or actually, no. Let's go and stab him. Cause why not? There we go. Pierce, come with me. You two go through that door. On it. Let's see how you can handle yourself, Mr. Celebrity. We'll be on mic. Handle myself? Shit. I can handle myself. You should be really close to the missile silo now. Stay alert. Cyrus is such a burk when it comes to security. Alright. Oop. I guess that guy's a rocket launcher. Huh. Who knew? No sign of the target, but we're looking at a stockpile of explosives and chemicals here. I can't tell what kind. It's explosives and chemicals, lady. What else you need to know? Yo, we're here. The target is just ahead. Target's in the next room. Damn it! What are you saying damn it for? Come on. Oh, yeah, because she proved wrong. Never mind. I'm being stupid. Alright, let's go and uh, get in here. When the fuck did Pierce get up here, like, so quickly? I didn't even fucking see him. Oh, bullet time. Fucking standard bullet time shit. Hashtag Call of Duty. This guy's all jamming out, not doing his job. Well, that was a bit overkill, but hey, whatever. All right, let's go and chase down Cyrus. Get ahead of him. Steal an insolent child. Oh, 
Alright. So just a few quick time events. Try to take down uh, Cyrus once again. And, um... Ooh, he brought out a knife. Hoodlum. Oh, now. Who are you calling a hoodlum? Oh, shoot. Uh-huh. Well, we'll see who you end soon, huh? There we go. Oh. So that, uh... Knife wound is affecting us in a bit. Alright, so... Let's do this. And... Bop! Well, I guess it's a good thing that I uh, have the audio muted for this because of uh, copyrights. You, you saw me as more than that. We snap at each other sometimes, and I don't always understand your methods. But there's no one I'd rather follow into battle. All right, there we go. So I guess everybody's just going to give us their, uh, you know, little monologue. Oh, I swear, Pierce. You gotta get a hold of yourself. Had I any idea you would be so willing to sacrifice yourself to save the world, I suppose I wouldn't have tried to kill you. It's okay, Matt. Well, we just met, but, um, you seem, you know, nice. <laughs> well, at least she's thoughtful. That was quite the entrance. But hey, better make a good one than a bad one, right? Okay, never mind. That was quite an entrance. But um, yeah, so we just landed right into the Oval Office. And I guess that's going to start off our... Uh, Okay, so we got the Adoration of America, and that kind of leads into what I was going to go and say. I guess that would, that's what leads into our uh, presidency. And, uh, yeah, let's see. We got an advisor, Benjamin motherfucking King. Uh, a little flashback from the first game. Ooh, Keith David. Oh, man, that's going to be a familiar voice. And let's see. Anything else? Oh, no, not really. Well, all right. Let's just see what else we got to go and get done. But yeah, no, I've been really looking forward to this game. Oh, we got the customized character thing now. So uh, yeah, I'll probably going to customize my character in the next episode. Uh, we'll probably uh, bring it in once I finish customizing my character. So yeah, I won't bore you with you guys with all the details on the creation and whatnot. Uh, but I will be continuing on the uh, whole process of having a uh, female lead for the whole Saints Row thing. It's kind of funny. I've been getting a lot of, like, hate on, you know, having a female character for my character in Saints Row. And, I mean, it's kind of just been a tradition now since Saints Row 2, you know, get a get a female with the mohawk and the ridiculously sized boobs. And, you know, I just kind of continued on with it. And I guess some people have a problem with it. I could honestly... Not say why, because I don't even know why. But, yeah, yeah. Um, so, like I said, I'm going to go and end it off here, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. I know I didn't have too much dialogue in it, but uh, <laughs> or commentary, whatever you want to call it. But, yeah, yeah. In, in the next one, you guys will see the character I've created, and um, we'll just end up seeing you know, what this whole Let's Play has in store for us. And hopefully sometime in the whole time span, I can get the PS4... PVR thing working so that way you guys can get some better quality uh, videos but yeah yeah until that day comes I'll see you guys in the next one and yeah peace